I remember last year seeing a t-shirt that someone was wearing and across it was written, love is for losers. A different view of love, a different view of friendship, success, and worth. But if what I value most is wealth and prestige, then love can become a distraction. Love can become a distraction from our goals. Love becomes a risk because that I may lose. The steward in today's gospel was a player. He lived in a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Survival of the fittest was probably his motto. He put his energy and his time into his wealth, into his shrewdness, and he relied ultimately on that shrewdness with all of those he met. Basically, he was a scam artist. So what Jesus is telling us today, for all of us, money is like a mirror. When we look into it, do we just see our own self-interest, our own self-importance, our priorities in our relationships? Do these all become manifested in that mirror? Or do we see beyond ourselves? Do we see beyond, the, beyond ourselves? Do we see the faces and the lives of the people who God leads us to? Do we see beyond the isolation and the separation that many times we feel? Do we see beyond the impoverishment that sometimes our grasping of material goods can hold? The impoverishment of material goods, the impoverishment of our emotional welfare, the impoverishment of our psychological well-being, the impoverishment of our spirituality. When I think of that t-shirt, when I think of that mirror, when I think of the wealth that we are surrounded with, I am always so grateful because somehow I always feel like a very privileged individual. Then I look at somebody like Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa, and especially the picture with her holding a little child. The saint of the gutters holding that little child. And somehow seeing in that child, seeing in that starving child, that child that was thrown away, the distressing God disguise of Christ, the forgotten Christ, the one who somehow is a distraction in our world and in our priorities. Jesus suggests a new model for each of us, giving up of ourself, loving one another as I have loved you, giving up and losing oneself. So I guess if we look at Mother Teresa, if we look at Martin Luther King Jr., if we look at Gandhi, if we look at Archbishop Romero of El Salvador, if we look at the people who love us and whom we love, if we look at Jesus, if we look at the cross, I guess the t-shirt is telling us the truth. Love really is for losers. God bless you.